Hello, my name is John Fire, and I am uh, the janitor for the rec center. I live here in the Terra Vida community, but I am also a uh, volunteer sergeant. <laughs> I'm Raymond Apricio with the Pasco Police Department, and my position is area resource officer. I came to this community with walls built up because in all the communities I lived in is if you're not like this person, you're not, you're, you're, you're outcasted. You're not going to be part of that, what do they say, that little group or that clique. So there's little cliques formed in everywhere I went. There were some issues, talking about neighborhood neighbors. Um, John had an incident where um, it was kind of a wake-up call for him and he realized uh, I needed to make some changes. So for me, um, to keep my door shut and stay inside and mind my own business is just how it was. That's how, that's how my, that's what I was taught. Um, but all that changed out here. We were able to talk and I, I told him about some programs that may be going on in the future with our police department. He says, count me in, uh, I'd, I'd love to be part of those programs. But even with that program not being initiated yet, he's, he's making the changes himself. He says he sees so much love out here. Um, he doesn't want to hurt his community. He doesn't want to hurt himself. And he's just thriving to make that change. With him, I've probably seen the most change with the things that he's doing now in the community. That story that I'm sharing with you is just a small part of God's vision for this community about uh, people coming together and helping one another in the time of need. In some countries, they don't have grocery stores, they have villages. Everyone lives in these little villages. They have a village doctor, um, they have a, you know, a village teacher. Uh, they all go out and they, they grow a garden and they all grow food. I don't think, some of them, they don't even have money. They all just provide for each other. Everyone plays a part to help each other out in the village. You know, we're kind of a modern village in the good old USA here, and I think uh, um, it's it's awesome because uh, uh, that's how it should be. It shouldn't. It should be about people loving people and people helping people. Um, that's what makes the world a better place not how much money you make, not what kind of car you drive, not how big your house is, about your relationships with other people, how you treat one another, love. And um, that is the biggest gift we could, ever, we could ever give another person. Give them your time and your love and your compassion. Going and opening myself up to something different, something new, um, helping someone who doesn't speak the same language as me and all that, that's where the change, that's, that's huge. There's no way he would have made any of those changes just with me walking alongside him. With you guys giving him so much support and so much love um, and letting him know that you care, you understand what he's going through and you will help him out, that is what made the change. He listened to you guys, he accepted you guys, he trusted you guys, and now, now he's doing great things. And it, it was because of you guys. In a million years, I would have never come in here and, and sat here and shared anything with you on front of camera. Um, uh, I would have been, oh heck no, you know? Why am I, I'm not gonna share my life with you or what, uh, who I am. Um, but I can do that now today here in this community because it's not who I am, it's who I've become. He also asked me one time uh, if I would be able to get bikes donated to him. I asked uh, our evidence tech if can, we could bring it out here for this pro program and she was on board. I think we've uh, donated nine bikes so far. So. And she told me she has like four more right now ready to go. So It's not just about the bikes. It's about bringing people in and letting God's love and, the, and, and, the, and just overflow onto other people. And then in return, they're, they're gonna be, they're gonna feel that and they're gonna do something. Well, we already have a community garden. We have a rec center. We have after school programs for the kids. When they get out of school, they can come in there and learn. 
I, I've had Spanish classes available to me. Como estas mi vecino? Ah, right, you know. Uh, it's, it's, um, I could not imagine living anywhere else. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. People tend to fear things they don't understand, and they didn't understand him. You know, they, they just saw him as a guy who snaps, and uh, they, they, they were fearful of him. John has a good heart, and uh, the fact that he has this chance to take the steps to, to move forward and up, uh, the kids change their perspective on him. So I've seen people in their worst points of their life, and I know they can change. I've seen it in my father, I've seen it you know, in, in family members, I've seen it. I know people can change, so I, I go out there with that philosophy. John, I know you can change, um, and I believe in you. What can I do to support you?